Oh no! We're under attack! Everything is being destroyed! The enemy are winning. We must win. Sir! D direct attack! We've got incoming! At this rate, we won't make it. What? What's going on? It's... Cats! Welcome to your doom. My name is Cats. I love cats, so my name is Cats. No! Cats! You have breathed your last breath. Please, we must survive. We must defeat Cats. Ziggy! Get us out of here! Prepping Ziggy for launch. This is our only chance. If we can't get out of this, it's over for everyone. Go, Ziggy! Zero Wing, original game. Natals. Launching Ziggy. Three, two, one, Ziggy, ready for launch. This is Pilot Ziggy. Launch commence. Yeah! All right, here we go. This is uh, Zero Wing for the Sega Genesis. And, um... Uh, yeah, man, this is this game's infamous because I think, I think it might have gotten some kind of English translation somewhere, but it was butchered and it was hilarious. But um, yeah, this is the original Japanese one, and um, yeah, I just know it. I just know it for for being meme -y, or being. It was one of those early like, um, you know, in in the internet's infancy, when we were we were still pure. Um, the, cause what Katz says is all your base are belong to us, which turned into like a, you know, like a, like a gamer meme. Oh man, the baseline on this song is hitting. Anyway, um, so yeah, and I, you know, I just like I felt like I, cause I, I think I, I think this is on um, it's on the Nintendo Switch thing now, so it's like easy, easy to play now, like on the Nintendo Switch Online if you have the uh, the Super Pass or whatever it's called. But um, yeah, I don't know. It, it was, it was a, uh, and I kind of played a little bit of it. And I was like, oh, it's like, this is not bad. You know, it's like, it's fine. It's not, you know, it didn't blow my mind or anything, but, you know, like, it, it was, it was, like I said, it was, oh, uh, no. What does the C button do? Oh, they do the same thing? All right. Um, I don't know, I feel like, uh, I feel like it was one of those games that I just felt like I should play. You know, I need to experience it. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Because it's part of it's part of um internet history, it's part of gaming history. Son of a bitch. I just fucking died, dude. I'm playing on easy. I didn't even know I was playing on easy. Can I at least uh enjoy the music though? Cuz uh it's hidden. Um, yeah, man, I don't know, I don't know, so, what I was, what I was trying to find, and I, I couldn't find one, um, I mean, I guess I could find one, but it just, nothing, nothing that I, like, wanted to do, like, right now, um, but, uh, 
I was looking for an Evangel Evan Evangelion game, and there is a couple. There's been there's been some, but a lot of them have been like visual novels, which is fine, you know. But like, I'm not gonna do a fucking visual novel on here. Um, God damn it. Um. Yeah, I'm like I'm not gonna do a visual novel here. It's oh my god, what what is wrong with me? But uh, so then uh, you know, I was like, there's it looks like there was an N64 game where like you can fight and stuff like using the Avas and you fight. I think the 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 angels. And then there was also like a typing. There's a couple typing games, which again I'm not gonna do. Um, and then what was the other one I think there was like there, if, if I looked correctly there was one that was like it kind of looked like um, like it reminds me of like uh, like arena fighters that they have for anime but like the old ones so like kind of like Smash Brother E Smash Brothers E I think it was on the PS2 or PSP. It was on one of those. But um, I looked at that and I was like, oh, that looks interesting. But everything was in Japanese and I was like, oh, that that's going to be difficult to... Uh, I mean, not you know, I could have just played it just to play it. But I, I want to know what happens. Because I've seen Evangelion now. You know, one of my videos that I did, I, talked, I, was, I was playing um, Super Robot Pinball. And I talked about how I'd never seen Evangelion, and then there was an Evangelion in the thing, uh, in, in, the, in the game. And uh, how I thought it was cool, and they played the theme song, and it was rad. But again, like, I hadn't seen it, so, like, I, you know, I couldn't, I, I couldn't get the full effect, right? Because, I, you know, I, I hadn't seen it. And then I was like, you know, I'm going to make it my mission before the end of the year, 2023. I will watch Evangelion, and I can, oh shit, and I can say now, at least the original series, the original 26 or some episodes, I have seen Evangelion, and I, oh, son of a bitch, and I liked it, I liked it a lot, and I have a lot of thoughts, and I have a lot of questions, but I think that's normal, I think that's what most people have after they watch that show. Um, Alyssa was telling me that the movies, the first two movies, are one's a recap of the of the um, of the show, and then the second one is like an alternate ending to the either an alternate ending or like uh, a different perspective of the ending or something like that of the um, of the of the show. So. And then there's like other movies that I don't know if, if they're like alternate versions of the thing or if they're like continuations or I honestly, I don't know. Cause I, I haven't seen the movies yet because the, the ending to the show was very vague in what it did. I thought it was interesting cause you know, it was like completely out of nowhere and weird, but at the same time, I'm like, I still have a lot of questions about what happened before and I don't think they were answered and um yeah but every time I, I, I like i i tried really hard to not be like Alyssa, tell me what tell me what so then um she also told me that like a lot of the stuff whoa she told me that a lot of stuff that i questions about does get answered in the in the because i was like okay so like you know the the show ended what about this that and the other and then she's like oh that gets explained in the in the movie so, I still have to watch the movie, so technically I'm not done, but I did watch at least the original show. And I can honestly say it was it was really good. It was really interesting. I was dig I dug the whole thing. There's a couple episodes that I dug more than others. I think some there was some some kind of felt like I don't know, like less interesting. I liked when they brought in um I guess spoilers if you've never seen Evangelion. Um but I like when they brought Asuka in. I thought she was her like that. Like I, th I think the show is very like heavy, 
but then bringing in Asuka um, really lightened the tone. Even if it wasn't, even if it was just like temporary, like it definitely lightened the tone. And I think she was a great foil to uh, to Shinji and, and Rei. And so, like, I enjoyed that. And then it kind of went back to being serious, which was, you know, like, understandable. The show was not supposed to be, like, a lighthearted show. It was dealing with a lot of... Um, a lot of heavy topics. He, he, you know, like... they all, all, the, all the characters struggle with things, and... Um, you know, it's kind of manifested through different ways, and the way they show you is very... Uh, it's a very artistic um, show. There's a lot of imagery, there's a lot of... Um, like metaphors and I don't know there's just there's a lot there's a lot there's a lot to digest there's a lot to take in but um yeah I like that um I honestly like not a huge Ray fan like I understand her her story you know as much as as I could with what they showed from what I've seen so far but like I don't know it just like she never really i felt like she had a big story influence because you know like she's she has a lot of connection with a lot of the stuff but also like i just didn't care about her and i know i know she's popular i mean i have the evangelion i have one of the evangelion uh like um soundtracks i don't i don't know i think it's a compilation of all the like different themes it's called evangelion finally or finally evangelion and it has ray on the cover um and i was asking Alyssa, i was like so is it like is it um like is is asuka like the more popular one and ray's not and she's like no nope, people really like ray and i'm like i don't get it i don't get it but again i think i just i feel like her her uh oh god like she, I don't know. I just felt like her. I mean, we got story on her, but it just, it didn't feel like she didn't. I don't feel like there was any change with her. It was just like she was just there in a blank slate, and I don't know. For me, I, I find her, I found her boring. Um, I do. I got. I thought Shinji as like when we when the when we started watching it, and I'm like, oh, this guy's like he's such an annoying little like. He, he, he's like complains and he's whiny and he's just like, oh no, whoa, what is this? But then I was like, the, it went on. Like, you kind of get why he's like that. And then you get a lot of uh, stuff for him because he's the main character. So at the end of the day, like, I'm like, I, I like, you know, I like Shinji. He's, he's cool. He's fine. Um, and then I, I feel like Asuka was the only one that I was like, I want to know more only because of her. She just had like the most character in the sense of like her behavior you know it was the most expressive and it was the easiest one to like like oh she's this character or like she's that you know with ray i'm like i don't I, show ended i still don't feel like i know anything about you shinji i got his stuff and then boat asuka was like immediately like okay cool i like her she's full of herself and then you know character arc for full of yourself is to get beaten down and and um you know, to the point where, where you like, you think you're not good enough. Like that's usually the the character arc that these type of characters go through, and you know they kind of did that to the extreme, which is, you know, good on you for doing that. Um, but I don't know. I just I just felt like she was she was the most like interesting to watch because it was the thing where like. I want to see just how how big of an ego she has like like you know she, she talks all this and she is good at what she does but like how far will she take it you know like I want to know like what will she ever just be like you know there's something larger than me at play and, and I should be um, more of a team player but she never really does she's just like I'm the best and if I'm not the best what am I which I was like, oh, they're gonna they're gonna like pull this back. Like she's gonna, you know, she's gonna chill out, and like she never really does. And I was like, oh, okay. I was not expecting that to be her until you know she gets like destroyed mentally, and then she falls into like extreme depression. Um. Oh god. Oh god. And then I liked God. What was her name? 
She's, her, I think her name starts with an M. I don't. I'm really bad at the names. Um, but the the purple haired, like the the lady who takes Shinji in. I thought she was cool. I liked her a lot. Um, you know, we learned about her and the impact, and and like how she lost. She was the only survivor, and like. Even though she's, you know, Shinji sees her and like all the all his Shinji school friends see her as like this, like, oh, she's so cool and like she's so this and that and like she's awesome and and like she's a general or whatever. But like in reality, she's like I'm just I'm just as lost as everybody else, which I think is um you know it's I think it's one of those things where like a lot of I think a lot of in a lot of shows they always like have the, the the younger characters idolizing the older characters because they feel like, oh, the older characters got it together. Like, they're, um, you know, like, they're, if I need help, I can go to them and they know everything. And then uh, with, with this girl, it's, like, not at all the case. She's, like, I'm, you know, I'm learning this as I'm doing this as I go. Like, this is, this is all, like, I'm making mistakes left and right and I feel bad about doing some of the things that I do. So... I think it's interesting because we actually get to see it directly, right? Like, from her. And, like, what her everyday life consists of and, like, her personal life and all that stuff. And I don't know. I just thought I just thought it was a nice change of pace. And then the blonde scientist girl, she was fine. Whatever. I mean, I get, I get her role in the story, but I was never... I never felt too intrigued by her. Other than the fact that she was a cat lady. But yeah, she wasn't that exciting. Um, the dad, I, f I feel like they put a lot of importance on him, him and uh, Shinji's relationship. And like Shinji is the, being the way he is because of his dad. And I wish we would have gotten more on him. Cause I mean, we got, you know, like, you know, his, his, his how he changed after, you know, he lost his wife and son of a bitch. I was so close. Um. And, you know, like, I don't know. I just, I just felt like I, I didn't get like a satisfying conclusion or like explanation for him is all. Um, who else? Who else is in the show? Who else is in the show? Oh, the, the fourth pilot boy. I think they did him dirty. Like they, they made it like such a big deal. And then he's, he's in, he's there for one episode and he's gone. I thought that was kind of whack. Some of the angels also got kind of done dirty where, like, you know, they, they were just there to service the plot, which, you know, is, is I get it. Like, that's... But they were kind of like an afterthought, which I think kind of sucked because, I don't know, like, the, the, the concept of them was really cool and how they were, you know, there's... Son of a bitch! I keep doing that. Oh, my God. Which I thought was kind of cool, you know, just like the... The however many of them exist and all that, but I think some of them just got done dirty where they like they show up and like they get killed in like one hit or two hits and then it's like oh we got it out of the way because we need to do other stuff. Um, what else? Who else is there? Who else was there? I don't know. I think I think that's like most of the main characters. Re oh, I mean, there was the like the other pilot angel boy. I don't really care for him. I feel like I feel like they tried doing with him kind of what they did with the friend who became the Ava pilot. Um, where like you know him him dying was gonna be like a big thing for Shinji, but I think it what they tried to play it that way, but it didn't really work because like it ends up that he's an angel and like he has to kill him anyway, so he doesn't feel as bad. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Those little things look like little Avas. But, I don't know, like, overall, in, in conclusion to my, like, long-winded explanation of how I felt about these characters, uh, like, I, I thought the show was good. Like, I, we, I think we watched it in, like, the span of, like, three or four days. We just watched, like, several episodes at a time. Um, and, uh, yeah, like, I don't know, I, I didn't know what to expect and even as it was going, I thought like, oh, I've got it figured out. This is what's going to happen. 
And I was like, nope, that's not at all what happened. Or like, oh wow, they did take it as far as this, or they did go as far as that, which I didn't think they would. But it makes sense that like the, the that show was uh, so influential for so many things, and it kind of broke the mold of like the the genre, I believe, the the mecha, whatever. Um, so yeah, I mean, overall, it's uh, I, I want to watch the movies, and um, yeah, I want to watch the movies. I want to see I want to see the alternate. I want to see what else they could have done. And then also, I don't know what the other movies are, but I guess I got to see those too. Um, yeah, I mean, that's really all I have. All, I mean, this game, I don't really have anything to say about this game. It's a fucking shooting game. Like, it's a spaceship shooter. I've played many of these here, and they all probably look the same to most people. This one's fine. I, I forget that I can, like, grab stuff. Um, but other than that, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a Genesis, uh, shoot 'em up. What else do you want? That's it for Zero Wing. I think it's pretty good, but also like, I don't know. There's so many of these. It's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to like pick one over the other. Cause I, I'm not, I'm not like, uh, like, I like shooting games, shoot 'em up games, but they're not, I'm not like a fucking like, oh, I can tell you why this one's different than that one and what makes this one and like how to make it better. Like, I can't tell you any of that for this. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, I guess all I did was talk about Evangelion, but I did keep my promise. Like I said, I was going to do it by the end of the year and I did. And it's only November right now. So it didn't take, you know, I, I made it with time to spare. Maybe I'll watch the movies for the end of the year. Who knows? I'll keep you posted. <laughs>